Hey everybody, Sean here, Boosted Miata. It's time to upgrade the turbo. So it's out with the old. In with the new, my brand new turbo. Let's talk about it. Come on, let's do this. So this is my brand new GTX 2871R dual ball bearing uh, aluminum billet turbo from Twisted Motion. These guys are out of Las Vegas and what they do is they get uh, Chinese turbos and they rebuild them. Uh, they put in aluminum billet wheels, they upgrade the bearings and they rebalance them and they sell them. And uh, I decided it was time for an upgrade the uh, 2554R, the Garrett Turbo I've been running for a couple years now, it's got about 20,000 miles on it. It's got maybe 15 race weekends on it. And um, it still works. It still spools, but it's a little tired. Uh, there's some shaft play. And um, it's not spooling up as quick as it used to. And I thought about um, rebuilding this, but I've always wanted to upgrade and get a little more power out of the motor because I do have a built motor and I'm capable of producing more power with it. And, you know, this Garrett Turbo is limited. It could, with the right setup, I could probably get close to 300 wheel horsepower, but I don't have the supporting mods on my motor. So the 2871 Turbo here is capable of producing probably up to 350 to 400 wheel horsepower, depending on your configuration. Um, I'm hoping to get around 300 wheel horsepower because I want to stay uh, reasonable because I, I have a, a stock six speed um, transmission in the Miata and those are breakable when you get above 300 horsepower. So I, I, I thought, well, you know, this is going to be an easy way to get to 300 horsepower. All I'm going to need to do is just upgrade the turbo and upgrade my injectors, and I should be able to get the 300 wheel without much difficulty. So that's the plan. I'm gonna put this on the boosted Miata and really looking forward to making a little bit more power and check it out. I've never driven with a big turbo before and I'm really excited about doing that. So I thought what I'd do is um, get this turbo ready to put on the car uh, it's going to need to be clocked correctly because it's configured as a bottom mount at the moment. So I need to reconfigure this, reclock it to get everything uh, pointing in the right direction for my setup. So what I'll do is I'll use the 2554R as my template and just make sure I get everything configured close. And then when I get it finally mounted up on the Miata, I can tweak uh, the compressor housing and clock it exactly where I need it to go. Um, what I'm gonna do first is pull off the compressor housing. And just I just wanna take a look at that billet wheel. I've never seen a billet wheel before. Uh, I wanna just check it out. And I think I'll measure it just to make sure it meets the specs for this uh, turbo as advertised. So I'll go ahead and pull this off now. So the first thing I wanna do is get the Internal wastegate actuator disconnected. I always use a magnet when I pull off these little clips. It makes it easier and you don't lose them. So that's off. There we go. And then I think what I'll do is, yeah, I'll just leave this attached for now. Um, and then I'm going to have, probably going to have to remount the actuator uh, once I get this reclocked. This is probably going to have to go in a different position. So let me go ahead and pull off the compressor housing. So in order to do that, there are these, this big uh, sur clip or C clip um, that holds it in right here. I have to get these special pliers to remove it. And like I said, once I get this on the car, I'll probably re-clock this. There we go, now that's loose. You can see there, I, I pull it off, and there we go, that's off. Boom, all right. Interesting, okay. 
So there's the aluminum billet wheel. Looks good. So this compressor wheel should have an inducer size of 53.1. I'm getting 52.9, close enough. And then the exducer, that's the large diameter of the wheel, is supposed to be 71. So let's check that. And I'm getting a little over 71, perfect. All right, so that looks good, so cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and clock this turbo. So I'm gonna leave this off at the moment and just focus on the exhaust side. All right, I'm gonna leave the compressor wheel off at the moment and I'm gonna go ahead and clock the um, exhaust housing. If I look at my Garrett, I can see that if I have it like that, the oil drain should be facing down. So I'll go ahead and spin this. There we go. It's interesting how that's already loose like that. I guess they ship it that way so you can so you can clock it. It does say in the uh, directions to make sure that you um, clock it appropriately for your vehicle. All right, so that looks about right. And on my Garrett, the oil drain is right there. I mean, the oil feed, sorry, the oil feed is there. And the oil feed is here, oil drain there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lock it down. Go ahead and put the compressor housing back on and get this clocked correctly. All right. All right. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll flip it because I have to get to the about right so I have a little bit I think that's going to be my best bet if I try I have to try to use these existing bolt holes to mount this um, actuator so I think that's going to be my best bet is to go like this and kind of cheat it over if I want like that I just want to make sure when I mount this I can get to this uh, clip. So it needs to be in a position that when it's mounted on the car, I can still get to it. And I think this should work like that. Okay, looks about right. I think that'll work. Like I said, I can always, I can always tweak it when I get it on the car, but I think that'll do the job. So there we have it. That is the Twisted Motion 2871R dual ball bearing, aluminum billet, Turbo. Looking forward to getting this on the Miata. And uh, right now, I'll show you what's actually going on with the Miata. So I currently have uh, the, the cams out because I did a valve stem seal replacement on the Miata. The number four cylinder, I believe, was smoking. And I have a lot of exhaust um, soot in that number four. Uh, so I replaced all the, um, 
all the seals on the valves because I was burning, you know, a decent amount of oil, maybe a quarter of a quart every fill up, maybe. And, uh, and I definitely had smoke on startup. So I figured it probably is the valve stem seals. So those got replaced. I will be putting in new injectors. So I, I pulled off the intake manifold and I'm just going to kind of clean up the whole engine bay and get everything nice and tidy and get it ready for the driving season in a few months. And we should be good to go on the old boosted Miata. Uh, looking forward to getting it back on the road. I have a, a few upgrades. I actually want to focus on the interior of the car. It's something that um, I've kind of let go, but I do want to uh, recover the seats in leather and I actually want to get a new steering wheel for the car. So that is it so far. So good. So I should be getting this together in the next week or so. Looking forward to putting up more content for y'all. So thanks again guys for checking out my videos. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.